understand what this is. Reverse reaction. Yep, a reverse reaction is going to occur within this. So this is by power of the buffer system. When we talk about buffering, we're talking about pH levels. So the pH scale measure, measures like hydrogen, which makes up acidity in our bodies, right? So if we have low pH, closer to that zero, it's going to be high base or a high acid. Acid, right? So low pH is high in acidity. Something like that will be on the test. So something's low, low in acidity, it's going to be closer to a base, which means it's higher in pH. And then this is base, or they might use the word alkalinic. So they can even say basic or alkalinic, right? Yeah, I don't know which one they'll use on the test. But. And then normal blood is going to be between 7.35 and 7.45. So if it's out of that range, that normal range for us, not at set point, we've got problems, right? Yep. We're going to try to fix it. And so we use a bicarbonate buffer system to try to fix this problem that we're facing. So has anybody here taken exercise physiology yet? Mm -hmm. No? Something cool, when you exercise, you're doing like short, intense things, your body produces more hydrogen. And when you start feeling your muscles burn, it's because it's hydrogen. You're becoming a little more acidic in your body. And so your body says, okay, my pH level is dropping. I'm becoming more acidic. There's something totally going wrong. we got to fix this. So it takes this substance. This is called bicarbonate. And it combines with those hydrogens to get rid of the acidity. When it combines, it makes carbonic acid. Still an acid though, right? So this doesn't settle well with our bodies. So it's never gonna like just sit there as bicarb or carbonic acid unless something's wrong. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna separate it. It's gonna take this, these two hydrogen molecules, this oxygen molecule, it's gonna combine it to make water. And then it's going to take the CO, or sorry, two of the oxygen molecules and the carbon, and it's going to make the CO2. And then you breathe out when you're exercising, and you're getting rid of the acidity. So when you're exercising, you're breathing really hard. You're not doing it for oxygen, you're doing it to release CO2. Release CO2. So if you're ever really tired, next time try breathing out more than breathing. Okay, so likewise, CO2, if you have too much of it in your blood, what's going to happen? Then you're going to become a little bit alkalinic. It's a little acidic, so it's going to combine with water, make carbonic acid, dissociate, and make those two. So it just constantly goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth in your body. It's never just like, oh, we're going to hang out as H2 on CO2. It's just going to constantly keep moving back and forth. So when you have your chart, it's going to do that with your pH levels.